Hey guys, so today what I have is a Mercer Galaxy ST from BikesDirect.com. This is a fantastic bike for the price of $280, which includes taxes, shipping, and does come with the Shimano Tourney Group set, which is adequate, but lacks the smaller gears needed for an extended climb. I have to tune the brakes, the rear derailleur, after I have to set up the front wheel and the stem. Tires are high pressure, 700C, 25mm, and they do go up to 110 psi. Brakes on the bike will not stop you immediately, so brake well before you stop. I like a light touch on my brakes, which gives me immediate response, so this is why I have it so close to the rim. I highly suggest leaving the high and low screws as shipped and just working on the indexing of the rear gears if there are not shifting are making too much noise. It is gonna take some time, but some time spent here will save you a headache once you are out there riding. You'll need an adjustable spanner, a wrench, and a multi-tool to fine-tune these bolts. Overall, considering the price and availability of cycles, I believe this is a steal for a trainer bike to get you up and running and to check if you truly want to cycle in a city environment. It is not a lightweight bike, but does come with a kickstand, which I use on everyday ride to keep the bike upright. Once you start to sprint on a straight and on high gears, the seal frame does feel as if it's being stressed. So I wouldn't use this as a race bike and certainly not for sprinting on streets for long periods of time. If you want a stiff bike, kindly go for the Carbon or the Renault 853, which Bikes Direct also has to offer. I would also tighten the screws around the stem friction shifters as they tend to loosen up. If you do lose the screw or aren't able to screw it back, then you can use a zip tie like I have, which creates a secure lock for shifting. I have linked the videos for this type of brakes and how to adjust them in the description below as well. Since the bike does come with 90% installed, it is quite important that you tighten the handlebars, brakes, and the saddles for safety. Please tighten, but don't over tighten. That's the key. The seat post is 25.4 millimeters in circumference with zero millimeters of setback. I've angled the seat to around 10 degrees to make it more comfortable on climbs because most of my rides are going up and down from streets in Queens and Manhattan. This kryptonite lock is not as secure as the D-lock does the job if I want to secure the front wheel and the bike to a stationary post for 30 minutes or so. In New York City, you can't leave anything out for too long. Currently, I have the tires PSI at 95 rear and 85 front. This is the optimum tire setting for rolling resistance in regards to my body weight and tire size. I'll link the calculator where you can get the customized number for yourself. I hope this helped.